Daniel Millison, also known as Dan TDM, or the Diamond Minecart, is a YouTuber widely known for his Minecraft Let's Plays and mod showcases. Many people loved and still love his content. In fact, after 10 years and 4 months, he is still making content on YouTube, which is pretty impressive. So today, we will have a look at Dan TDM's channel and how it evolved over the time. Dan's first YouTube channel started on 22nd of August 2010 and his first video on 27th 2010 called Opening Undaunted Rising Rivals and Majestic Dawn Booster Packs. He continued uploading Pokemon related stuff like gameplays of Pokemon games, opening Pokemon cards and Pokemon card battles. While he was making Pokemon related stuff, his brother introduced him to a new game called Minecraft. Dan loved playing Minecraft, in fact he loved playing the game so much that he started a new channel. And this is where things took off. The name of the new channel was the Diamond Minecart, created on 14th of July 2012. His first videos created on channel consisted of a Minecraft mod pack let's play known as Pokemops. Then he did some other ideas like the Minecraft 1.3 commercial or the 1.4 snapshot. Then he started uploading the nostalgic Minecraft mod showcases where he would review the mod, test the mod in comedic ways and then upload it to YouTube, which for Dan was actually surprisingly pretty popular, right behind the more famous The Diamond Dimensions modded survival series, but we'll get into that later. In the meantime, he also uploaded one adventure map and one song that was a parody of Taylor Swift's song We Are Never, called Never Ever Going to the Nether, which actually kinda got viral, and other minor series like Minecraft Does and Minecraft Seed Spotlights, but then he created the most famous series on the channel to this day. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another- If you were a fan of Dan back in the day, then you had to be a fan of the Diamond Dimensions. This Minecraft mod pack let's play is the most famous of all the let's plays. This mod pack let's play got 240 episodes, each episode being at least 15 to 20 minutes. Great content. But let's go back to 2013, when the Pokemon Dan Level 45 channel was abandoned after just 3 years. The last video uploaded on that channel being George vs. Michael, G1 plus 2, Crawley Cities, uploaded on September 8, 2013. After this video, the channel was completely abandoned. On December 10th, 2013, he uploaded Draw My Life, which actually had gone viral. This started a vlogging series that later slowly transitioned from uploading on his main channel to his secondary channel, but we'll get there later. 2014 is when Dan would start getting more views on his his videos. He started new Let's Play series like Minecraft Xbox 360 Let's Play, Terraria, GTA and Minecraft, The Tale of Herobrine, and so on and so forth. It wasn't that interesting. I mean, some of his videos went viral, like How I Met Dr. Treoris, Grimm's Tales, My Brother Plays Minecraft, blah blah blah. One thing that was kind of interesting in 2014 is when he created a vlogging channel for vlogging and did all of the vlogging material on that channel. And that's kind of it. 2015 is where finally something happened. As usual, he created more Let's Play series like Dr. Treoris, Minecraft Challenges, Minecraft Custom Maps, Minecraft story mode and escape a sense of switch up DLC. The main things that happened in 2015 are, well, pretty broken. He basically broke his arm and was unable to play normal Minecraft, so he played a lot of Minecraft Pocket Edition. That's it! Now let's move on to one of the biggest years for Dan, 2016. <laughs> The year started as usual, like the past two years, Dan made some let's play series such as FNAF World, Roblox, Minecraft Crazy Craft, so on and so forth. The main things that happened in 2016 are, number of subscribers and views increased dramatically. He had a role as himself in Minecraft Story Mode, he released a book called Treoris and the Enchanted Crystal, he hit the world record for the most views on for a dedicated Minecraft video channel. And then lastly, he voiced CJ in the Skylanders Academy. Phew! That was a lot of stuff that happened in 2016. But then 2017 came and well, things didn't look so well. First of all, it started with a bit of a controversy regarding his hatch emol Pinky. He, well, 
basically burn him with a blowtorch and that caused the parents to freaking rage at him saying he's a bad influencer and crap like that then things kind of got better he released the first episode of the youtube originals called dan tdm creates a big scene but then something happened guess what minecraft was starting to decrease in popularity dramatically not only that but it also got this it's a horrible game stigma and dan knew that so in mid 2017 he started making less minecraft content and focused on other games like among the sleep metopia and blah 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 you get it also 2017 is when he abandoned his vlogging channel more tdm Woohoo! and i'll just kind of skip the rest of 2017 because it's the same as always anyway then came 2018 where dan was starting to shift more to teen audience and no he didn't like do it in a day it was a long process and I'm pretty sure dan was trying to grow up with the audience but 2018 was still the year when dan was really trying not to play minecraft anymore there are mostly fortnite vids and other game vids but there was still Minecraft lightly sprinkled in. As always, nothing really major happened except the time when he voiced E-Boy and Ralph breaks the internet. Which, for whatever reason, only was in the UK cinema version and the DVD version replaced Dan's voice with someone else's voice? What, do you think I'm actually gonna research who voiced E-Boy in the DVD version? Anyway, let's continue to 2019. Okay, so this is the year when Dan literally didn't want to touch Minecraft, since it was at its lowest in early 2019. He did make Minecraft just, just almost never. And the year started out normally, like always making gameplay videos of other games. He just didn't want to touch Minecraft anymore. Blah blah blah, let's skip over to the juicy stuff. So, it's mid 2019 and Dan is playing his indies and Fortnite and doing reaction videos. But then he heard something. Gosh dang it. He listened and did Minecraft again. So he now played Minecraft, Fortnite, sometimes indie games, and reaction videos. And then we get to like December of 2019, and it's like all Minecraft. Literally, all, almost all of it is Minecraft. Then 2020 came, and we know 2020 was basically a dumpster fire. And everyone hated it. Or, you know, well, someone was at least happy that the thing floated in the air anyway let's continue so it is early 2020 dan had a child but for all seriousness i'm genuinely happy for him okay so dan tdm is finally still slowly developing from the child persona back in 2016 and 2017 and kind of 2018 his content finally evolved from kids content to semi teen content and he celebrated by releasing GTA 5 Pocket Edition, which was actually even surprising for me. But then quickly he went back to save bubble, not trying to make more teen-oriented videos. Yeah, let's skip a bit. It's late 2020 and our boy Dan started seeing the appeal of the game called Amongst Us. And he recorded so much of the game that he said a no-no word on his stream. And then he said the same word on his Twitter. And what do you think happened? Is it A? Fans were supportive and said it's okay for freaking 28 year old to swear. Or B? Treated him like he freaking killed his parents. Yeah, you know, it's B because people went freaking crazy saying, Oh, he ruined my childhood. Like, seriously, people, grow up. Oh, wait, I forgot that the people that tweeted were actually nine years old. Of course. And they wanted him dead. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. And yeah, I know you're just a one-time viewer that will never watch me again. So for that, please at least like the video. And if you genuinely want to watch this kind of content, hit the notification button. Like, I mean, it's definitely not like overused in the, those clickbait videos. But seriously, though, please subscribe and like. It really will help me a lot. And I don't want to be cringy anymore. So I'll see you maybe in my next video. So bye.